All right, let's not waste any time. What you're gonna need is Adobe Photoshop and Adobe After Effects. And also you're gonna need the ransom note pack that I have linked in the description. It's free. It contains around roughly 130 letters and numbers you can use for this project. So let's get started. What you're gonna need is you're gonna need to create a 1920 by 1080 landscape like I've done here. Now you want to import your letters from the letters and numbers pack. Before we start, do you know what you're gonna write? If so, then great. Grab the letters and or numbers that you're going to use for the project and just import them into Photoshop. Now that you've imported all your letters into Photoshop, it's time to start making your words. So, simply just start making. When you finish putting your words onto your landscape, make sure that your text is all centered. So like your first word, and put it in the center. You'll know when it's in the center when the big purple line goes from one side of the landscape to the other. Now once you've done that, you want to center your text to the exact middle. So, select it all, and just simply line it up with the two crosses on your screen. Now here comes the first tedious bit. You wanna add a drop shadow to every single one of your letters to make it look like that it's actually been put onto paper. So, simply, Go to your first letter and add a drop shadow. Now you can play around with the drop shadow, see what kind of effect you want it to. I'm just gonna put the angle at around 100 degrees and well, just keep doing it for the rest of your letters. Now you may be wondering why we don't just simply select all the letters, convert them to a smart object and then do the drop shadow. Well, it's because if we have two that are occluding on each other, let's say the O and the T are on top of each other. If we turn off the drop shadow, look at this little part down here. When I turn off the drop shadow, that little part becomes lighter. It all really just adds to the effect. Now here comes tedious part number two. We're now gonna animate the position of each frame of the letters. So now what you want to do is you want to turn off every single letter except the very first one. This is our starting frame. Zoom into your letter so you can see it more clearly. And what we want to do is we want to animate the position very slightly differently from how we have it originally. So say a few pixels up and to the left and rotate it just a little bit. Now go to file, export, and let's export this as frame one. And do make sure you do call it one as this will help in After Effects when we work with the sequence. Now undo back to its original position, add the second letter, and now you want to do the same thing to this letter. So just change it up a little. That way it makes it look like that you've just accidentally touched the letter, which adds a bit more realism to it. And now you can simply export it again as the next frame. Then undo it and then continue doing it for the rest of your letters. And when you've finished exporting your final frame, congrats, you're done with Photoshop. I would also recommend you to save your project. This is just in case that, you know, if you want to go back and edit something later, you can. Now that you've saved, close Photoshop and let's move on to After Effects. Now that you've opened up After Effects, we want to create a composition from footage. Now click on one.png and make sure that you have PNG sequence ticked. Now, if you click spacebar, you'll see that, well, the effect works. Now, to give us time to animate, we need to change the length of the comp. So, right click in an empty space, go to composition settings, and change the duration to something like three seconds. I'm gonna go 310. Now, you may notice that even though our comp fits to the end, the sequence can't go all the way. So what we need to do is, while holding this, control D to duplicate your footage, right click it, go to time, and then, freeze frame. And then what you want to do, depending on the length of your footage, is find your freeze frame, which is technically going to be always the last frame. And then what you want to do is drag it to the next frame that your comp finishes at. Otherwise, you'll get this very hideous doubling shadow effect. Now you can just simply drag it to the end of the comp, and that way it lasts for the full three seconds. Now if you think we're done, we're not, because now we need to animate the wiggle effect. So, select it, click pre-comp, and now we need to start wiggling. While selecting the comp, press P to pull up the position tab. I'll click the stopwatch, which will give you the expression tab. And what you want to do is you want to type in wiggle with the brackets 30, 2. This means that After Effects will wiggle the comp 2 pixels 30 times a second, which gives us an effect like this. Now you can see it kind of slightly wiggles around. 
However, when you're holding a camera, you don't always just move the position with your hand. The rotation is also slightly changed. Now, if we want to make this look more realistic, we're going to add rotational wiggle. So, press R while selecting your comp. Alt click the rotational stopwatch. We're going to do the same thing. Wiggle. However, instead of putting 32, I'm going to put 31 because there's usually less rotation than position. As you can see now, we have our little wheel. For now, we're pretty much done. What you want to do is you go to composition, add to render queue. Now go down to output module because we're going to need to make this like an overlay. So go to channels, RGB plus alpha, and it doesn't really matter if it's straight or pre-multiplied. And well, just hit render. Now before we exit After Effects, make sure to save your project. There you have it. Now you have your very own animated ransom node text. Now keep in mind, if you do play it as it is, it'll look very fast. So what you will want to do is you will want to edit the speed and duration. For me, I'm going to put it on 27% as it matches up with my music. That way, it's slower. And well, that's it. You now know everything you need to know to make some animated ransom note text. Bye.